Welcome to another installation video from LaserZ Studio. Today we're going to be replacing the slide plate on the Smith & Wesson SDVE. Uh, what we're going to be showing it on is the Smith & Wesson SD9VE. This will work on the 9 or the 40 just fine. What we'll be using is a 1 8 inch punch and that's just to reach down below the striker fire in the cup just to push the spring down. So after you have the slide off or you slide back, you can see where the striker fire or the striker comes right in. Lift that up and you're going to see a white plastic cup that goes in there. Insert the pin or your punch in between that and the spring. Push down on the punch and this will leave the tension on your plate and you'll just be able to slide the plate out, hold your thumb over and release. There's not too much tension on it so you're not going to have the springs go out but it just as safety would help. You have just removed the plate off the SD. Now replace that with the slide plate from LaserZ Studio. You could either use the back of the punch I just use a larger punch, push the cup down, get it started, slide that in the rest of the way until you hear the click and that shows that you have it in place. You kind of see the fit. You have just replaced the slide back plate on the SD Smith & Wesson SDV9.